YouTube, it's Jen. And Brad. And we are here for our week 33 post-op lap band update. Let's start with the numbers. I am 5 feet 4 inches tall and I started out at 262 pounds. Last week I weighed 192.2 and this week I weigh 190.8 which is a 1.4 pound loss for the week and 71.2 pounds total. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, so I'm six feet tall, uh, starting weight 320. Uh, last week I was 236.8. This week I'm 235.8 for a one pound loss. Yay! And for a total of 84.2 pounds. So. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it out there right now. Um, I ate dinner not too long ago, but it's still kind of sitting on me. So I'm feeling some pressure. So if I pull a Shelly during this video, uh, please understand. That would mean burping, not crying. I know Shelly's known <laughs> Or taking both. my clothes off. <laughs> we love you, Shelly. Love you, Shelly. <laughs> and our fat baby... Yes. ...is now 155.4 pounds. We have one big old fat baby. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we don't have babies in real life, but this is our fat baby. Um, okay, so, just so you know, the people that won our summer giveaways, the packages got mailed yesterday, so... Tracy, your bracelet is in the mail, and Danielle, and Dan Dory, it, is it, no, 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 Downsizing Donna, I'm sorry, the two names are so close, um, your packages are in the mail, so mailed out on Tuesday, thank you, B, for being our mailman, I do what I can, and we hope you like what's in it, yes, so, um, you move first, um, so just some quick progress. Uh, I think I reported last time that I'm still jogging, but I hadn't been back on my 10K kick. Well, I started back again on Monday, so I did uh, week 10, day 3, uh, which is 5 minutes warm up, 15 minute jog, minute walk, 15 minute jog, minute walk, 15 minute jog, minute walk, and then 5 minute cool down. So week 10, day 3 complete, week 11, day 1, here I come. I love that you're doing that. I'm not doing it. We're doing our, our 5K is in two weekends, yes. and then I am never 5K yeah. again. So that comes out to about 4.71 miles of distance. I'm very proud of you. In the Florida heat. It is hard. It was sucking, but I had my camel back with me, and that makes all the difference. Have you talked about that on here? Yep. Okay. Alrighty. And then um, the strength training class that we take Sundays and Tuesdays. Sunday was great. They started a new routine, a lot of shoulders and kind of upper body. And I didn't full-fledged hurt myself again, but I could feel, well, because we also had massages on Monday, and I think she was a little extra aggressive, so I felt some pulling in my back, so I decided not to do it yesterday. Took a muscle relaxer, took some Advil today, along with an Nexium. Feeling much better. So, so we're going to go back on Sunday? Absolutely. Yeah, I love that we are doing the strength training. Together. Oh, I enjoy it a lot. Um, I have been doing CrossFit, and I really like it. However, it is a little bit interfering with my weight loss because, for example, on Monday I did CrossFit, and today I'm still unable to walk. So <laughs> Tuesday um, I didn't do cardio. Now, granted, I didn't do it because my teacher wasn't teaching that night. Um, so I gave myself a free pass to skip it, and so I probably would have gone if he was teaching, but let me tell you, I am in pain all the time, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this CrossFit, because if it keeps me from my cardio, then it's going to keep me from losing weight, and that's going to frustrate me. Um, also, I have been obsessed with the scale. Yes, obsessed. and not in a good way. Yes, I, I was so good up until, like... Two weeks ago, I was like, once a week, maybe an interim one in the middle of the week. But that was it. Two wings, that was it. But now, because I've been disappointed on weigh-in days, it's not telling me the number I want to see, that I keep weighing in during the week so I can see the good number. And so, Tuesdays, apparently, I get good numbers, and Wednesdays, I don't. So, I saw as low as 189.6 this week. So, I'm just... I'm just frustrated that I gained 1.8 pounds or 1.2 pounds to be 190.8 today. So you didn't really gain it's not real. Weight. No, no, and that's the thing is that it's not real. No, I know I didn't gain weight. And I'm not frustrated about that. I'm frustrated that the weight that gets recorded isn't the good weight. So 
I'm just complaining. I know I need to just be happy, so I'm sorry about that. Um, don't laugh at me. I'm laughing with you. <laughs> um, the one thing I really wanted to talk about was I had a really, really bad and scary pee being this weekend. And it's really weird because um, we had just gone to a um, life band support group meeting and we saw our doctor there and I'm like, I'm very excited. I can't wait to get a fill. You know, I'm, I, I, I need just a little bit more. And then we go out to dinner with my dad and I ordered, I was hungry and I ate a cheese stick ahead of time so that I wouldn't be starving, but I'm always hungry. So I got there and I don't know if it was what I ate or how quickly I ate, but I had a bunch of asparagus in the beginning and I had a few bites of pasta and my, and my burger and I had and I'm always like, oh, if I get stuck, at least it only gets stuck for five minutes and I PB and I'm fine. Well, I got stuck. And I went to the bathroom and I pb twice. And then I came back to the table and like a complete moron. Yes. I'm doing this as a public service for you all so I can be stupid so you don't have to be stupid. So in case you were thinking, I wonder if after I get stuck on a certain type of food, and I PB it, if I should try eating the food immediately after PB? The answer is no. No, you should not try the food immediately after PB. So but you come to the table, and what do you eat? Two more bites of pasta. I had two bites before I PB'd, and then two bites after I pb And then what happened after dinner? No, 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 we're still at dinner. And so then we go to leave, and I'm like, oh no, I'm feeling the pressure. So let's go uh, yes. up to the bar and get a little pineapple juice because I was, you know, pineapple juice and papaya enzymes are supposed supposed to help you. Now, granted, pineapple juice while you're stuck probably not the best option. So I go to the bar, get a teeny little shot of pineapple juice, and it is amazing. I go to take the drink, take a teeny little sip, and go to the bathroom, and humongous comes out. So it's amazing. It was like. This much sip of pineapple juice, this much slime and Because you've PB. been sliming since you ate the food. Yes. So that would be the third PB. Think but I'm wait, okay. There's more. <laughs> Think I'm okay. Leave the restaurant. We need to go to the pet store. We go to the pet store. I'm feeling fine. Fine. We park. I'm like, I'm not feeling so good. So Brad's like, let's just walk up and down the, the, the parking lot. Parking lot. So we do that. And I'm like, I need to get this out of me. I don't know what's going on. Walk, I'm just in pain. Ten minutes probably goes by. PB again, in front of everybody, just in the middle of the parking lot. I'm sure this time I am good. It is totally good. We go shopping. We get home. I call Lily. I have to hang up with her so I can run to the bathroom. And you guessed it, PB a fifth time. At this point, I'm scared. Um, so I am, Brad is there, and I'm violently, like, to the point of, and this is what really scared me, is that now I understand every other time that I've PB'd before, even when I once or twice PB'd violently before, those were PB's. Because this time, the stomach acid actually came up, and that's vomiting, that is not PB'ing, that stomach acid had to work its way from the lower stomach through the man to come out. It was such a violent episode that I'm now really scared. I, my stomach has kind of been irritated since then. I don't know if my stomach's irritated, if I slipped my band or what, but I'm, I've noticed that now I feel a little tighter. So I don't know, we see our doctor on Tuesday. Don't do what I do. I'm stupid, so you don't have to be stupid. Don't be stupid. So, I'm sorry, did I put you to sleep during that? You look like you were like, eh, I'm just concentrating on Broken? Yes. So, only you can prevent PBs, so don't do it. Um, no. No, what? We know, don't eat pasta, and that'll prevent PBs. No, but here's the problem. When we went, when we saw, when your sister came in town, and we went to Acropolis, and I got the pastizio, the pasta was completely fine. Didn't you have a fill since then? No, that was on the same fill that we're on right okay. now. 
Well, just like people have carte blanche to slap bread at your hands. I've given you've up. You've been depasted. I've you've been depasted. People. Up everything. Do you hear me? She's been depasted. Except if we go to Acropolis. No. You've been depasted. Thank you. So yes. And I have to say, now that I've been scared straight in the no sitting up for an hour and a half before laying down oh, yes. after eating, it's cutting out my nighttime eating because I go to bed really early. Like if I stay up to 1030, that is past my bedtime. So once nine o'clock comes, it doesn't matter how hungry I am, I can't eat anything. So nope. I'm just, I'm all over the place. So if you manage to stay through this whole 11 minute video, I apologize. I'm rambling. So. Do you want to talk at all? Because I really took up nine of these 11 minutes. I'm good. I got my shout outs. Okay, please. Okay, so a couple quick shout outs. Uh, Deanna Karras and Jenna Carlson. And hey, hello, Jenna. Jenna. We actually got to meet Jenna when we were in uh, Minnesota visiting with Lily and Erica. Yes, we did. And you have to say hello to Sophia. Hi, Sophia. So we just, we, we uh, really appreciate you guys watching. I'm sorry if uh, I rambled a lot today. Um, anything else? I don't think so. That's about all I got. Hope you have a great week. And I'm very behind in watching your videos. I'm like two weeks behind. Because I normally on weekends would eat lunch and then go lay on the hammock and watch videos and I can't do that anymore. Unless. So yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. I love you guys. Take care. Have a great week. Bye-bye.